You ready to go? Yeah. Hey, guys. Oh, hey. A bunch of us are going to the new Chinese place tonight. You guys should come along. Oh, Actually, yeah, we already have plans. Uh, plus, I heard that new Chinese place sucks. <laughs> I'm sure you'll love it. Thanks, but uh, no thanks. Are you sure? Yeah, well, we're sure. Okay. Well, we could go, don't you think, Jess? I mean, I haven't talked to Andrea in a while. Well, maybe not talked. But she sends you text messages all the time. I mean, she sent you like 18 yesterday. How'd you get into my phone? It was in my purse. I had to use your phone when you went to the bathroom. What's in your purse I shouldn't see? Chelsea's purse and her phone are her own business. I didn't ask you. Hey, there's Rob. Maybe I need to teach him a lesson about how to keep his girlfriend on a tighter leash. What? You heard me. Maybe a muzzle would be good too. Stay right here, okay? I need to talk to you. Alone. I'm, I'm so sorry, Andrea. I don't know why he's acting like that. He's under a lot of stress with school and baseball stuff. He has so much to do, and then I pick on him for some small thing, like him checking my phone when he's just trying to protect me. First of all, you don't owe me an apology. He does. That was rude. I was just trying to invite you guys to join us because I never see you anymore. You're always with him. I don't see how he's protecting you. He's just cutting you off from your friends. No, he's not. He just wants to make sure I'm safe. And besides, people who are dating always see their friends less. Rob and I don't see our friends any less. Well, maybe you're not in love like we are. What? I'm sorry, Andrea. I don't mean to be mean, but I just know how lucky I am to have him. Here, I haven't shown anyone because I'm kind of embarrassed, but this is the ring he gave me for being together for three months. Whoa. Yeah, I know. How much was that? He wouldn't say, but Jess did say I was worth every cent. Wow. Yeah. Chelsea. What? Just be careful, okay? Andrea, we're fine. He's just a little moody today. I'm sorry he was rude. Everything's fine. Fine. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to go check on him to make sure he's okay. Seeing that ring really freaked me out. It looked really expensive, and it just made me nervous for Chelsea. It seemed like Jess was doing all these things to control and change this wonderful person I'd known for so long. It was like watching my best friend vanish before my eyes. When I talked to Andrea, I wasn't really sure who I was trying to convince that everything was going to be okay. Her or me? I always made it seem like everything was fine and that Jess and I were totally fine and happy because, well, I was embarrassed. Jess and I weren't having as much fun as we were in the beginning and there always seemed to be more and more rules about the way things should be when people are in love. But I thought it would get better. I thought if I learned and followed the rules that Jess and I would be happy and that everything would get better. But they didn't get better. Hey, Andrea, what's up? Um, make it quick. Jess is waiting out in the car. Okay, well, it's about Jess. Well, what about him? Rob told me he, he said some stuff about you at the gym and I thought you should know. Well, what? What did he say? He shared some personal stuff you guys did together, like really personal stuff, and I guess he was bragging. Jess wouldn't do that. He's not like that. That's not all. There's more. He also said that you said no at first, but that he convinced you. <clears throat> what does that mean, Chelsea? Did he rape you? I, I mean, I want to be here. What do you want, Andrea? Huh? Is that why you brought me here to badmouth my boyfriend in front of me? I just thought you should know, Chelsea. I don't think it's right. Well, it's I'm not worried. true. None of it. Everyone always talks about Jess because they don't understand him. You're just trying to break us up, aren't you? You know what? Yeah, I am. He treats you like crap, and you aren't the same, Chelsea. You've changed. Yeah, well, so have you. You're just jealous, aren't you? Because Rob doesn't love you like Jess loves me. Rob and I broke up. What? We broke up like a month ago, Chelsea. We haven't been together for a while. I didn't know that. Of course not, because I, ne I never see you anymore. Jess never told me. Yeah, because he knew you'd want to see me. I'm so sorry, Andrea. It was really hard, especially without you there. But it's fine. I mean, it, we're fine. Rob and I, we're still friends, kind of. And Rob told you all this? Because he wanted you to know. Why? Because we're both worried about you. Don't be. I can handle myself. Chelsea, I'm fine. We're happy. I'm the happiest I've ever been in my whole life. So quit trying to ruin it, okay? Whatever. I did think I was happy. 
Or at least I thought I could be once everything with Jess calmed down. I felt a little bad about Andrea, but I just couldn't handle that right now. Not now, not on top of everything else I was going through. Later that same week, Jess found me alone before baseball practice. He had borrowed my phone and was going to come back and give it to me. What's this? What? A text from Nick Epstein at 12.15 a.m. on Saturday. Hey, I think we got an A on this project for sure. Good job. It was due Monday, and we hadn't started it until then, and it was worth 25% of the grade. It was nothing. I told you to switch partners. I, I, Professor Woodman wouldn't let me. Do you really expect me to believe that you and Nick were up until midnight just working on a science project? I'm not stupid. What's up? He's just my lab partner. Nothing happened. Hey, what about this ring? I don't know if I want something that important in the hands of someone who I can't trust. Well, I, you're the only guy I see, Jess. Please let me well, go. Well, if you really loved me, you would focus on what's really important. I helped you with school. Now I need your help with baseball by you being here with me. Jess, you're really hurting my arms. Please. I'm sorry. I didn't realize it. I, I just get so jealous when I see you with other guys. Don't you know that by now? This is how people are when they're in love. Great. Now you made me late for practice. <laughs>